Hey, hey, Dana Martin here, jumping on with my summer video series. Today, I want to talk to parents about different types of colleges that are affordable and can be affordable for your child. This will be a quick video just because um, I want to get you the information as quickly as possible and have you enjoy your summer day. So the first thing we're going to talk about are community colleges. So here in Philadelphia, we have an amazing community college, which is Community College of Philadelphia. But a lot of people might not know that there are other community college options as well. So here in Philadelphia, we have Community College of Philadelphia, which offers three to four different branch campuses throughout Philadelphia. But if you are a resident of Pennsylvania and you're a student that's like, you know what, I don't want to go to Philadelphia Community College, you can go to other municipalities. Um, community colleges. So Delaware County Community College, Montgomery County Community College, Bucks County Community College. You can go to their community colleges as well. Your rate may be a little bit different, but it's still an affordable option or a different option. There is another community college here in Pennsylvania that has dorms, which is Northampton Community College. And that is a good option for a student that might want to still take the community college route, but wants to go a little bit further away and live on campus. And they do have that opportunity. That's about two hours away from Philadelphia. Um, number two, another thing to think about are branch campuses of big name brand colleges. So Penn State is a prime example of this. So Penn State has um, their main campus, which is in University Park, State College, PA. It's about four hours from Philadelphia. It's directly in the middle of the state of Pennsylvania. However, they have over 20 other branch campuses throughout the state of Pennsylvania. And a lot of times they are a lot less expensive. Um, and students could commute from home to those branch campuses. And guess what? You still get a degree from from Penn State. I had the pleasure of visiting Penn State Abington last week and their facilities are phenomenal. They have dormitories on campus or you can commute from home as well and that is a really good way to cut costs if you would like to and still get that university education. Um, number three, PASHI or state schools or state colleges. Um, state colleges traditionally have a lower tuition rate. Their housing and fees do differ. However, they are lower than the private colleges, so they might be a good um, place for you to start. Some state colleges in the city for the state of Pennsylvania are Kutztown, Mansfield. Um, there are 14 state colleges or PASHI colleges. I usually... A phone call came in. <laughs> I usually... Um, take tours of different PASHI schools throughout the school year, just so that people can get a feel. Um, every school is not the same, but they do have a similar feel, feel to them. And there are 14 of them in the state of Pennsylvania. If you're not from Pennsylvania, there are state schools within your state that has a reduced tuition rate for in-state residents. And then lastly, I want you to look up colleges that meet full need. What does that mean? So if you complete the financial aid application, there is an opportunity for you to find out how much your family needs to pay for college. And there are some colleges that will say, you know what, we will meet your full need. So whatever the government says is your need based on the info that you put into the FAFSA, we will meet your full need. A great place to start with that is to Google the term full need colleges and colleges will pop up that will meet your full need. A lot of it does come down to academic criteria if you can get into the schools, but it is a good place for you to start. So just a quick recap, went over just some community college options. It's not just Community College of Philadelphia, but there are other community college options as well. Number two, think about colleges that have branch campuses where you can um, still attend that brand name, brand name university. However, you can attend a smaller, more affordable campus. Number three, think about state schools or state colleges. Um, sorry, I couldn't give you the full list of names, but I'll drop them on my Instagram page a little bit later. But state colleges do have a more affordable price tag. And then number four, Google full need colleges or colleges that meet full need. And it'll give you a list of colleges where if you do get into them, they promise to meet whatever your need is. Um, take care. Dana Martin.